Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about a count triplet problem. This is a medium level question. If you are not good at coding, please visit our website learningmonkey.in. There we have discussed about a placement training for service based companies course in that course the examples which we have discussed in that course are the basic level examples first you have to complete that then you have to come here to solve these questions so our assumption is you already watched those concepts and you have that basic understanding based on that we are going to provide the explanation we will give you an intuition about how to solve this question and you take that intuition and try to write the code on your own then check for the solution the solution is provided in our website but uh, the best practice is uh, try to solve it on your own then check for the solution coming to the count triplet problem let's try to understand the question first uh, then we are going to uh, identify the efficient code for this uh, given n distinct elements they are going to give you n distinct elements uh, these are the elements example one six five seven we have to identify that all the triplets that form like this 1 plus 6 is equal to 7 so this is one triplet 1 6 7 is one triplet uh, 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 1 5 is equal to 6 this is another triplet like that we have to identify all the triplets uh, how many triplets we have identified you have to display the count of identify count of number of triplets uh, how many triplets we have found here two so the output for this given list of elements is uh, two you have to solve this in order of n square time that is what very important is uh, you, if you if you can solve this in order of n cube time then writing the code is very very simple but you have to solve this in order of n square time uh, and the space complexity should be order of one means you should not use the extra space and the time complexity is order of n square uh, now first understand how we write the code for the uh, without considering this constraint order of n square then we go in, into the example of how, how to write the code for order of n square times so if you take this example give this is the list of elements that are provided we are going to write we are going to write the loops like this for i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 for j is equal to 0 to n except i for k is equal to 0 to n except i j means we are using nested loop loop within a uh, loop within the loop and another loop is there three levels of loops are there and each one is going to execute for the n times n n n it is going to execute for the n cube times but given it is you have to execute in order of n square time let's understand how this is going to work i is equal to 0 for j is equal to 1 k should be check for all the combinations all the remaining elements you have to check the triplet for the triplet combination for all the k elements uh, increase the j j will be taken as the second element i will be same i is equal to 8 j is equal to 2 k will be executed for all the remaining elements means you are going to check for all the other combinations this is how it is going to execute it is going to execute in order of n cube time but you have to do it in order of n square time how we do that let's try to understand that second uh, second way is the best way we are going to execute in order of n square first we have to sort the elements if you if you write any sorting technique it will take order of n log n time after sorting that you can write the logic in order of n square means order of n square plus order of n log n which one is the highest polynomial n square so what's the efficiency of this program if this is going to be taken order of n square so that's why we are writing this program in order of n square time first we have to sort the elements what's the use of the sorting of these elements so we need the combination of see here after sorting that if you take the eight element eight all the elements that are on the left side are less the elements that are less when compared to small when compared to this element means if you want to find the summation of 8 you can take any of this combination elements if you want to take the summation of 7 you, you are not supposed to consider this 8 because it is greater you are leaving this you have to take all the combinations of this if you want to take the six means you have to take all the combinations is so that's why that's why this may be they will go they are going to ask a different logic in that logic they are going to sometimes it, it is helpful to use this 
whatever the logic we have learned after sorting this we are going to use this you remember this this may be helpful for you in other problems also so after the, the, the logic goes like this after sorting after sorting the elements take this element we have to we are we are taking this element as ith element and we are taking two variables j and k j is pointing the least element k is pointing here so j plus k e of j plus e of k 7 plus 1 equal to 8 so increase the count take a count variable count is equal to 0 increase the count we have formed a triplet 1 plus 7 is equal to 8 after that after forming the triplet so k should be minus minus j should be plus plus because this combination is forming the triplet 1 plus 7 is equal to 8 that's why we are uh, we are doing a k minus minus j plus plus see what happens if the elements present here is 1 and 6 assume that in this position it is 1 it is 6 6 assume that uh, in this position we are having 6 1 plus 6 7 means this is greater the element that is present here is greater so which combination you have to take leave 6 like this increase the smallest element means j plus plus check the next element 2 plus 6 here we are having here we are having 6 assume that this is not 6 6 is present here so 2 plus 6 8 see if the element present here the summation of these two elements if it is greater than this element is greater than summation of these two elements we have to increase the smallest side if it is less you have to decrease the biggest element this is the logic we are going to use if it is equal both sides this side decrease this side increase like that you have to check all the combinations once you take this 1 plus 7 okay reduce the k to here reduce the uh, increase the j to here 2 plus 6 yes another combination reduce the j increase the k 3 plus 5 yes reduce the j like that you have to find uh, until j less j less than k if j and k are equal don't do it single element is there that is the logic we are going to use uh, see we are having only three conditions if a of uh, j plus a of k is equal to a of i yes increase the count uh, j plus plus k minus minus else if a of j greater than a of j greater than uh, a of i greater than means the element which we considered here is greater than a of j plus a of k if it is greater only increase j plus plus else k minus minus decrease k like this repeat for i is equal to 8 i is equal to 7 i is equal to 6 i is equal to 5 like that repeat that each time it is going to check for n times and this is going to repeat for n times that's why it is order of n square okay now we are going to show you the code and the code is provided in our website you can you can copy and paste your code in the uh, from our website so this is the code Hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post two questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you